Calm down, Mr. Hursway. Of course I can appreciate how worried you are. I'll check with the results as soon as Miss Tate gets in. I've said I will, haven't I? So did you give Miranda one then, for old time's sake? Have you never thought about being a poet? You've got such a lovely way with words. She so knocked you back then. And what you like. What's the matter with you? You used to tell me everything. Yeah, but that was when we were young and in love, Sydney. I think the spark's gone, mate. Yeah, it's I mean, you never say you love me anymore, do you? You can't fool me. You're scared of Diane, aren't you? Now, if I could have her legs, mm. with her frontage, and them hands, I'd be quite happy. Well, hands? Never look at the visage, Louise. Always go for the hands. That's where it shows. Look at Madonna. The first that launched a thousand ships and hands that have scrubbed a thousand decks. Why do you think she's always got them in her pockets? Mm. Live and learn. So would you ever have plastic surgery? Me? <laughs> no. Why would you? you? never know. Things do go wrong. Rarely, I've been told. Mm. A friend of my mum's had a lot of work done. You know, body work, nipping and tucking. Was she pleased? She was ecstatic, until she found out she had these horrible growths on her face. Never? Mm -hmm. And they linked it to the plastic surgery? Yeah. Until they found out it was two nipples in her belly button. How <laughs> 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 can you have believed you? <laughs> I thought you'd be so gullible. I don't know what I'd do, Diane. I think I'll cross that bridge when I come to it. <laughs> That's the paperwork. Zoe's definitely taken the samples, but no results have come past me. Mr. Hurstway is not a happy bunny. I'm not surprised. You know what leptospirosis is? Mm. I was going to look it up, but I was too scared. The cows can all abort. Oh, you see? I've already left messages for her all morning. Nicola, shh. Just ring the lab, will you, please, and do it straight away. Oh, I'll just get these for tonight, please, Emily. That's two pounds each, please. Long night in front of the telly. Well, it's easier getting one for each lad. Can't stand the bickering otherwise. Do they not like the same sort of thing? Well, I think they do. They just won't admit to it. So, if there's a disagreement, would you tend to take the side of Robert? Well, it depends what he wants to watch. I mean, more generally. Uh, no, I don't think so. Emily, anyway, you've lived with us. What do you think? I'd say you'd never know that Andy isn't your natural son. Well, I should hope not. You're not going on about blood and water again, are you, Emily? You already told her. You can be as liberal-minded as me, even. But you always side with your blood in the end. He left at the crack of dawn. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm feeling a lot better. Much brighter. Smashing. So, Mac came back here last night, then? I wonder why you were calling. I've come to see you. During the dinner time rush, of course you have. What's the matter? Nothing. Diane. I know. How about a quiz? He was asking the questions. Me? I should have guessed. Do you think I'm attractive? Oh, God, here we go. I've played your quizzes before and I always lose. It's just a bit of fun. Well? Yes, Diane, you are a very attractive woman. Now, second question. Only of a possible two, and we're not doing any more. Do you think I'm looking old? Well, you know what they say. You're only as old as the man you're feeling. Oh, come on, love. I feel so silly. That's because you are. Spit it out. The thing is, I happen to be feeling a man who's feeling another woman who's about 30. And a young-looking 30 at that. Well, the lab must be wrong. I've been on to them twice, Zoe. They haven't had any samples from us this week. I'll check the couch just to be on the safe side. You do know Hurstwick's demented. Well, maybe he should take better care of his herd. Zoe, what are you on about? Hurstwick's a good farmer, and you know that. Well, you're quick enough to judge me. Is this them? Give them here, I'll get me back. Why? Because they're going to have to be done again, aren't they? How long have been sitting in that car for? I managed to find them pretty sharpish. Well, I had a feeling as soon as Nicola had said. But you didn't act on it a bit quicker. Are you feeling better? You want to change that light in the bathroom? It's a bit harsh. 
I'll have a word with Alan about it. That should be a giggle for you both. Oh, come on, you're being paranoid now. So would you be in my position? You haven't even got any proof that anything happened with this girl. Well, she might be young, but she's hardly a girl. But she is compared with me. And she's his ex, Rodney. So? You've got plenty of exes. I know, but look at you, you're all pensioners. Thank you. Oh, shut up. Anyway, what do I care? He's only a bloke. Probably best out of it now before I really break his heart. That's it. Plenty more fish in the sea. I know, but it's just... You hardly ever find a fish you really like. If it's any consolation, you can always come back to me. Oh, my God. Hey, <laughs> I should go. I just want to make sure it gets done. Pardon? No, I didn't mean it like that, but are you really ready for a mouthful of first weight when you get there? I distinctly remember handing them to Craig to give to Nicola. You didn't. Oh, come on, Craig. You're all over the place. You spend half the day looking at my legs. <laughs> Look, will you just ring the lab, Nicola, and tell them we'll be needing a rush job on the test results? Zoe, I don't even know what you're talking about. Maybe Nicola's right. She's wrong. Yeah, of course she is. Well, they've got to blame someone, haven't they? Tell me next. Tell him you're going to Lucy's. I've already said that three times this week. He's going to think me and Katie are having a thing. Now, that's something I'd pay to see. Sue so Flatter him. Take away so you get caught again. He's always asking if I've seen you. Maybe fancies you, Andy. Do you think he suspects? I keep on telling him what a loser you are, but he's a dad. They're always looking for clues. Mac not been in yet. Was he in while I was next door with Rodney? No. Well, he's not been in then. You haven't said a word about last night. What were you expecting? Tears in a jealous fit. Well, why would you be jealous? To tell you the truth, I think it's on the wane. Diane? Max lovely. No, oh, no, but he's got that permanent whiff of turpentine about him. Are you serious? I can think of plenty of women who jump at the chance. Well, then, the next time we have a theme night, I'll put him in the raffle. Hi, boys. Hard day at the call face. I don't wish to be rude, but you're looking a bit haggard, the pair of you. You're from last night. Yeah, yeah, go and get a table, Sydney. I'm all right at the bar. Yeah, but I'm not. Go on. I'll do some clearing. I've just done it. Yeah, well, you always forget to work. I didn't know Australians were so hygiene conscious. <laughs> Are you, uh, <clears throat> Are you angry with me? Why? What have you done? Well, I tried to have a chat with you last night, Diane. Oh, so... I'm sorry, love. I didn't even notice you'd gone. Yeah. Do you know, it's years since I've been set up on a blind date. Nah, I'll kill him. Still, she seemed a nice enough lass. Yeah, she was, yeah. So, uh, you know, you could see I just... I couldn't leave her just sitting there. Don't be daft. Yeah. I mean, he wouldn't get his women unless I entertain the friends. We do like to hunt in packs. <laughs> so, uh, we're OK, then. As long as we're all enjoying ourselves. And you did, didn't you? Well, I wouldn't go that far, you know. I mean, we didn't have much in common, like, you know. Is that why you split up the first time, you and Miranda? Who told you? She did. Obviously, she didn't feel there was anything to hide. Do you use a lot of turpentine at work? What? You know, cleaning products, that sort of thing. I think that's more for decorators. Right. Well, in that case, it might be worth telling your mate to change his aftershave. I didn't see any point in telling you, you know, I mean, it's not as if I want to be seeing her again. Like I'd be devastated if you did. Oh, don't be like that, Diane. What? Ticked off because you thought I needed protecting from your past, as if I'm your mother. You're being stupid now. No, you are. You're the one that goes in for the playground games. Excuse me for being too mature for that sort of thing. 420, please. <clears throat> Didn't I? Cos he doesn't know who they are, he's certainly not going to ring him, is he? Good. So it's over. No, it's not. We cocked up, Zoe. I lied and I laid the blame elsewhere. Just thought the test results are negative. Where's the other two? I sent them on lunch. You sent them both together? Well, I'm here, aren't I? Or is that what you're getting at? Yeah, all right, keep your hair on. I think we should watch those two. Why? Nicola's not a bad receptionist. She's right about Craig. He's a bit of a liability. 
No, Zoe, that's not what she said. And the poor lad's only supposed to be a driver. But it, he has a way of making himself seem indispensable. Right. Well, all right then, in the future, we'll make sure that all he does is drive. So, she just planted the blame straight on Craig. That seems a bit harsh. Yeah, you know what management are like. Why take responsibility yourself? It's something you never did at <laughs> Dale Park. <laughs> yeah, but I wasn't really management, was I? If anything, I was quite impressed with Zoe. Well, she zapped the spotlight from herself to hapless Harry. You always find the best in people. <laughs> Hi, Chris. Do we have to? You're looking well, Rodney. Still won't tell me what is made out of Dale Park. Go on, you tell me. Is there enough for a Porsche for me? Glad to see we've still got a deal, then. I really can't be bothered to haggle. Good. And, uh, be generous to Nicola, won't you? <laughs> What's he got to look so smug about? He already had uh, interest from a holiday company when he bought my side. And could you have got more if you'd have gone straight from yourself? Who cares? I paid my debts and there's still a bit left over. But, Dad... I'm alive, Nicola! And I'm free of him. Who could ask for more? Hmm. Oh, sorry we're late. Don't mind me, I'm only the boss. Where's Louise? On a break, planning a new face. What's the matter with her old one? Oh, you know us ladies. Plant a seed of doubt, we've reconstructed the whole lot. Don't ask. <laughs> How's your relationship going with Jerry? You know, for a shy girl, you can be very direct sometimes. I didn't mean to embarrass you. So is the Jerry Builder a Jerry boyfriend? And that was quite witty, which isn't like you, Jack. You obviously bring something out in each other. Oh, you know, there's nights I just crave a hot cup of cocoa and a weepy film. Oh, come on. You're not that old. If you hadn't used the word that, you might have just paid me a compliment. One minute you're laughing, next minute it's all gone sour. What is it with women, Emily? Oh, sorry, love, I didn't mean you. Because I'm not a woman. Oh, shall I just take me pint and find a quiet corner? Oh, don't worry, I don't offend easily. Oh, and that's one of the many nice things about you. So, do you think I'd make a good foster parent? Come again? Well, text him and he's not text back. Face it, you both run out of lies. I oh, know, but I really wanted to see him tonight. Why? Because I love him. I mean, you'll understand one day. I understand already. Have you got someone? No, but I've watched you. You spend all day thinking up a pathetic excuse just so you can spend all night hanging around a pathetic bus shelter necking on. We don't only neck on. In the bus shelter? <laughs> Ugh, I'm never coming there again. Give us a laugh at his spelling. Hey, he's not that thick. Hmm, cafe half past four. Steady, he might buy an ice cream. My dad usually goes in there at tea time. We can with us. Oh. But just to check he's not there. Although she might have been my best mate. I'm obsessed with it now. Do my hands look older than my face? Depends how old your face is. Uh, are they your real hands? Because I always thought you wore crocodile skin gloves. I wish I'd never brought it up now. I've always fancied a nose job. What for? Just for something to do, really. <laughs> With the smallest bit of interest taken in him, he came alive and... it made me think there must be thousands of boys and girls like Damien. Well, I think you and Paddy would make great foster parents. Do you? Yeah, but it's just my opinion. I mean, it's dead complicated, Emily. You know, we just sort of got Andy because he kept turning up. We didn't foster other kids. Anyway, what does Paddy think? Doesn't really know yet. Well, what he thinks, or do you want to do fostering? Both. Would you mind keeping it to yourself un until I've done some checking up? If I was going to do you, Diane... Careful. Remember, he pays your wages. <laughs> no, go on, I'm fascinated. Well, I'll do your legs. Quite like my legs. Yeah, but you'd look nice if you were a bit taller. In fact, didn't you used to be taller? I think it's called ageing. Oh, rolling 60. I'm sick of ducking every time I walk through a door. Oh, will I shrink and all? Let's hope it starts with your gob. <laughs> she was joking, weren't she? And Mr. Day hated me from the word go. I can only imagine it was because of the rivalry you felt for my dad. Who can't be here today. Because he suffered a massive heart attack. 
Mr. Tate never missed an opportunity to humiliate my dad and me. And he made sure that I took all the blame for any problems at the holiday park. <laughs> what do you think? I'm impressed. I can turn it on like a tap. Watch. Uh... Yeah, yeah, please, please. What do you want? Five grand would be nice. Any tribunal judge would give me a lot more than that just to get rid of me. And the publicity would be awful for you. What with Dad being so poorly and me having to scrape a living these days as a lowly receptionist. Mm. I'll give you a thousand. <laughs> Three. Two and a half. I never want to see you again. Suits me fine. <sighs> Pass me my checkbook. Get it yourself. So that's me permanently wearing gloves. Trisha's getting her bags done, and Marlon's thinking about having his love handle seen too. <laughs> Who started all this stuff? Diane did this morning. Ah, uh, well, she's having a bit of a crisis. Why? This fella Mac and some woman who was in here last night. Said she wasn't bothered. Well, she would, wouldn't she? Uh, it's really shaken her confidence. What's going on? She's been like that for ten solid minutes. How can you just sit for that long? She's probably planning a funeral. That's all they've got to look forward to. Yeah, Bri. What time's Kate coming in. What's she doing here? We can go wherever we want, can't we, Katie? Katie? Don't worry, we're going now. I you don't want to see me anymore. I don't. Then what you follow me about for then? I'm not. We've only come in for a can of juice. Yeah, we can have our dregs. I'm off to meet someone in ten minutes anyway. Come on, Robert. Who's he seeing? Some lass with dark hair in the sixth form. Got bored of uh, kiddie blondes. I told you what he was like. All right, Dad, don't start. Sit down. I'll give Emily a shout and get some teas in. Shut up! Oh, I nearly died. I'd kill Andy. It worked, didn't it? Little git. Treating my daughter like muck. You're right, love. Yeah, thanks. Come on. She's supposed to be the vet. I wouldn't want to go anywhere near bits of cow's blood. So you made a mistake. I'll get your knickers in a twist. No, that's what he's trying to say. It wasn't his mistake. Oh, sorry, mate. I'm not taking much in. Oh, still thinking about Joy, are you? Oh, the woman's a genius. If she put her mind to it, she could turn you the same way as his boss. <laughs> Shh, don't say anything. Hey, you've nearly got a strike on your hands here, Paddy. <laughs> Craig, can I just have a word, please? Yeah. Do you think Dharma's upset about her legs? No, but I think she was upset about what you said about her legs. Oh, I feel awful now. Do you mind if I go on a break? Ten minutes. Who's in charge of staff, Trisha? All right, 15. I hate talking behind her back, but I'm telling you the truth. I had nothing to do with those samples. Why would I? Yeah, but you do offer to do all the little jobs for her, though, don't you? No, I don't. If she asks me to help with something, I will, but that's it. And I'm getting less interested in being her driver. Oh, don't say that. Well, if I'm going to get the sack anyway... No, you're not, look... She's always been under a lot of pressure lately. OK, but if she asks me to do anything else that's not to do with driving... Then that's fine. Just refer everything else to me and Nicola. I'm really sorry, Craig. Really. Thought we were friends. Apart from you sleeping with my ex and me robbing and back off you. Why didn't you tell me you were upset? Who says I am? Loose lips couldn't wait to blab. Yeah, well, Rodney cares about you, and so do I. Will you go and cash me pension for us, then? You're doing it again. How's anyone supposed to know what's going on if you make everything a joke? It's just not fair. Rodney gets to go out with bits of lasses and no-one calls him Dad. You do. Well, that's different. Why? Because I'm me. <laughs> I was appalling last night. I couldn't wait for them to get out. What did they say? A lot of sniggering from that Miranda. I could have landed a one. Why didn't you? Have you seen the bone structure on her? I don't think my knuckles would take the impact. <laughs> I bet Mac wasn't laughing. What he did was much worse. He sat there with a look of pity on his face. You haven't gone off him, have you? 
She might be a nasty little cow, but how could I even begin to compete with her? How much of this could you drink? Ah, oh, thimble full. I still have to be careful. <laughs> OK, I'll drink the rest. Nobody poops on my dad and gets away with it. How did you manage that? Just told him straight. By the time I'd finished crying in that courtroom, the judge would need a pair of water wings to get out. Nicola Blackstock, you are a very underhand girl. I know, it's one of my better qualities. <sighs> so, if we put my profit with your profit, would it be enough for a Porsche? Remember when we went on that girls' night out? You had a wobble about your age then. And I'm several weeks older now. Diane. I don't want to say it's all right for you, love, because I don't want to patronise you. But the fact is, it's true. And I hadn't met Mac then. But he's the one that's always done all the running. I know. And it was great until last night. I just kept shoving the age difference to the back of my mind. But why can't you just do that now? Because all that fear gnawing away at me, it's got a name now, hasn't it? It's a 30-year-old piece of skirt called Miranda. I don't think you're giving him much credit. He's a bloke. If there's one thing I know, it's men. Yeah, well, I think you're wrong about this one. Think or hope. Stuff them, eh? Stuff them all. If I had my way, they'd all be gay. Just provide the necessary when we want a baby. <laughs> Come on. Break over. <laughs>